Come on. Ow! Oh! Just great. Is everything okay? I gave my report to the Admiral. Apparently, some of the crew have called for me to be stripped of rank and cast out. I'm so sorry, Seika. That must be really hard to take. It doesn't matter. Where are we headed next? Well, um, we know where Laundra sent the data from his old company. Somewhere on the mainland, north of where we met. Should be able to fly there. Yeah, about that. Let's take my skiff this time instead. Not a fan of flying, huh? I'm a marine. I'll take the water over the skies any day. All right, we'll take your skiff. Should we get going? Yeah, let's go. Follow me. <sighs> nice and easy. And, unlike flying, if you fall off, you don't die. Open water ahead, and fleet's end disappearing behind us, along with everyone in it. Why do you put up with them? I mean, I, I get what it's like to feel as if an entire tribe's against you. I would have stormed out of there a long time ago. It wasn't always like this. I was a good Marine. A good sister. It felt like I belonged. That belonging is a kind of strength. One that keeps me going even in the roughest seas. When you have something like that, you can't cast it aside. You see, you know, your people don't know how lucky they are to have you. I don't know about that. I do. like the court hits are leading us towards that horse. That thing gives me the creeps. On clear nights, we can see it from the camp looming over us. There! On the shore! More of our boats! Then we're on the right track. I'll take us in! its point to somewhere up the hill after you definitely seems like we're heading for the metal devil why would Londra send his data here I'm not sure it's an odd place to bring a bunch of Quen to I just hope we find them my people were here all right looks like they headed further up the hill coordinates lead that way too Andra must have set it up. Doesn't look like there's a way past it. There's some kind of device on the other side. I think I can scan it. My focus is... All right. Let's see what's on this thing. It looks like there's something further in. Some kind of compound. Laundra might be in there. You're missing people, too. I'm not seeing a way past the barrier. There. It's some kind of power generator. Hooked 
hooked up to the arm of the Horus. Laundress figured out how to get part of it working again. A metal devil can't actually wake up, can it? I'm not sure. But at least right now, it must be how Laundress powering the barrier. So if we can find a way to shut down those generators, it should come down. It's worth a shot, at least. Looks like there are two of them nearby. Come on, let's get going. Whoa! Look at that! Above us! Laundry went to a lot of trouble to power that shield. Got a couple of our big ugly friends, too. There's some kind of power core. I can't hit the core on my own. Seika, I need you to shoot the core. Got it! One down. Now for the other generator. Focus on the generators. Okay, again. Sega? Yeah, on it! All right, let's get back to the bunker entrance. The barrier should be gone. Ancestors, I hope my people are in there. Last time I saw my sister, I was relieved she was leaving for a scouting mission. Guess I wanted a break from her. I get it. Things aren't always easy with my sister either. I thought you said you were an outcast. I only met her recently. It's a... It's a long story. Always full of surprises, huh? I try. Point is, I'm... I'm sure your sister will be glad to see you. I don't know. But it's nice of you to say. Looks like this place still has some power. Generators must have just been for the shield. to join us join you yeah we have it took a while but we finally made it <laughs> a barbarian one of the chosen impossible Zeth would never allow this hmm how did you get in without him well Zeth sent us actually after we helped him out of that um, that ambush in the wilds right you see, I was on my way here with him when machines attacked us. We tried to hold them off, but we were outnumbered. That's when Aloy here came to the rescue. I was exploring the region when I ran across them, so I just rushed in to help. <laughs> you should have seen her. One of the best machine hunters I've ever met. She saved Zeth's life. Oh, I was just doing what I could. <laughs> Zeth had something important he needed to take care of after, so he said to go on without him. And that's when he told us how to lower the barrier and said we should head straight inside. Zeth really needed a barbarian to get him out of trouble. We all need a little supporting fire every now and then. Well, Zeth gave him the okay. And I am not risking one of his outbursts. Let the others inside know about our new arrivals, will you? Fine, but I'm not letting them into the Ascension Hall until they prove they're devoted, just like everyone else. And I'll be interested to hear Zeth's side of this when he returns. Oh, by all means. Don't mind him. Good luck in there, Seika. 
May you both embrace his light. I hope we'll greet the ascension together. Oh, that was close. I can't believe my people are here willingly. And they answer to Zeth. Yeah, he sounds like a great guy. Let's get to this ascension hall before you have to meet him. Hologram of Blondra. Welcome, my chosen. You have wandered, you have suffered, but you are lost no more. For I have found you, and I offer you what you deserve. The ascension. So be at ease. Forget what you think you know, and embrace this moment. A new world awaits. Okay. Oh, that's a lot of Wandra. So he wants us to embrace his light. Literally. We better keep up appearances in here. I'll try. I'd like you to meet some old friends of mine. You see, we were at the best party in town, celebrating our big win. And while everyone's attention was on me, my ex-business partner, well, he barges in, and he's jealous of our success. And he throws a drink in my face, but not a drop hit me, because my bodyguard, Jack, he tackled him to the floor, and the others, Riley and Nolan and Parker, well, they made sure he was kicked out. But it was my Evelyn who encouraged everyone to just laugh it off. I adored them. Their dedication to me meant everything more than any award. And it ended up being the best night of my life. Guess Laundra's used to people worshipping him. Gross. Gotta pretend I look up to Laundra. Yuck. Gwen had it all wrong. Walter was the greatest of the ancestors. Ah, you must be the ones Brennick mentioned. Two more souls chosen to leave our thankless old life behind. Yes, that is us. It's... Kiral, right? You were stationed on the Spark? In my former life, yes. Just one more Marine bound to a hopeless expedition. Ugh. Enough of that. Hmm? As Walter says, we must forget the past. Our suffering led us here, after all. And now... The Ascension is almost upon us. This place is such a wonder, isn't it? I've never seen anything like it. Oh, but it is still nothing compared to what's in the Ascension Hall. You've been inside? Indeed. I proved my devotion not long before you joined us. Now I wait to be taken to what lies ahead. One step closer to the Ascension. You mentioned you're waiting for what lies ahead, and we're still getting up to speed, but I thought the Ascension Hall was where we needed to go. You're not the first to fail to grasp Walter's plan for us. Now that I've seen what's in the Hall, my rank is secure. But there is something more that he's offering us. I just know it. It has to be why the Devoted are escorted to another place. And as soon as Zeth returns, he'll take me there. I'm ready. Do you have any idea where this place is, exactly? Somewhere that brings us closer to Walter. To his embrace. So you've been inside the Ascension Hall? 
Is it as special as we think it is? I shouldn't say. I wouldn't want to deny you the same experience I had. Come on, Kiral. Just a hint? We're dying to know what's inside. I'll tell you this. It's... breathtaking. Like the moment Walter first appeared before our boat. But better. Prove your devotion. And you'll see. Well, thanks for talking with us, Kiral. We should... get back to learning about Walter. Yes. Of course. Good luck with your studies. I hope to see you at the Ascension. I'd rather sail into another typhoon than spend an eternity with him. Oh, good. This guy again. <sighs> well, if it isn't our do-gooder and the barbarian. It all makes sense now. The time of ashes? The floods in the Great Delta? We've been trapped in a cycle of destruction, but soon we'll have a new world. That's quite a promise. And now that you've proved your devotion, you're ready for what comes next. Zeth will lead you there as soon as he returns. Not so fast. Your good deed in the wilds may have gotten you this far. But you'll get no special treatment here. Walter himself granted me the privilege of guarding the Ascension Hall. So until you complete your review and learn the words of attainment, this door remains shut. No exceptions. Okay, okay. We will be back later then. supposed to pass some kind of laundry devotion test. But who knows how long we have before this Zeth guy gets back. There's gotta be a faster way to learn whatever the words of attainment are. Let's take a look around. Don't think the words were in those laundry holograms we watched. They might help with talking to the others. Maybe we could convince them to give us a hand. to take in. I get it. But don't forget, this is a good thing. I'll get us a drink. 
In the meantime, remember what Walter said about embracing the future. Seems like you don't really share your friend's excitement about all this. I should be more excited, shouldn't I? It's okay to question things. Lon was thrilled when we got into the Ascension Hall. He can't wait to see what we'll be taking next. But I'm worried that all this is too good to be true. So why don't you just leave? I can't abandon him. We've been through everything together. Our, our missions, the Typhoon, the shipwreck. And soon, the Ascension, I guess. It seems like most of the Quen are more than happy to follow Londra. So why not you? At first, I wanted to believe. I mean, everything he told us felt like it filled an emptiness, like maybe I'd finally found somewhere to belong. But then I remembered how the boards back home would tell us to follow the virtues of the legacy, to be good and honest. And then they dragged my father away for speaking out against an imperial decree. I'm not sure it's any different here. Walter might be a living ancestor, but with a cudgel like Zeth to do his bidding, his kindness is just as conditional as the Empire's. As far as anyone at your settlement knows, you went out into the wilds and vanished. How did you end up here? Lon and I were part of a scouting mission to the mainland, but things went bad fast. We were lost and starving, our boat was wrecked, and then Walter found our camp. A living ancestor, emerging from the wilds to tell us we'd been chosen, that we were safe. It was easy to embrace. Everyone here has a similar story. Why didn't anyone send word to us? Not everyone is chosen. Walter says we must leave our old lives behind if we're going to ascend. Nobody questioned it. But I should have. You said Lon can't wait to see where you're headed next. Do you know what you'll find there? I imagine it'll be another kind of test, like here. Once you've been in the Ascension Hall, you're taken there by Zeth. He and his troops are the only ones who ever come back. Everyone keeps mentioning him. I get the feeling he's not really a friendly guy. <laughs> as friendly as a Fireclaw. But it's not just him. The soldiers that follow him are like that too. I guess they know they can do as they like, now that they don't answer to the Admiral or Compliance. You're right to be skeptical of all this. Andra is up to something. We need to get into the Ascension Hall to figure out what. And to do that, we need the words of attainment. I don't want to stir up any trouble. When Zeth comes back, he'll figure out that I told you. Does it have something to do with one of those Londra displays? This is important, Otosu. A lot of lives are at stake. It's related to what Walter said he valued most about his friends. It's about their dedication to him, right? Yeah, that's right. See? It'll be okay. I don't know. Maybe this is a bad idea. Look, whatever Alondra wants with your people, it's not good. Everyone here, including your friend, are in danger. But you can help us stop him. Okay. Repeat this to Brennick. Only through devotion may I embrace his light. Only through him may I ascend to a new world. <sighs> Thanks, Tosu. You've been a big help. I hope you know what you're doing. Well, we got our words of attainment. Brennick should let us into the Ascension Hall now. Let's get out of here. Back again, I see. I already told you. No one's getting past me without the words of attainment. Oh, we know the words. Seika. Oh, no. You should have the honor, Aloy. Only through devotion may I embrace his light. Only through him may I ascend to a new world. No one's ever passed their devotion review so quickly. Well, we did, so will you get out of the way now? Mm. 
I don't know how much more of Londra I can take. Yeah, let's see what he's really up to. All this time, they didn't even want to be found. We don't know if they all feel that way. Yeah. Sure. Something on your mind? Nothing. The Ascension Hall better have answers. That's all. There was something different in Nova's tone today. The slightest edge of recalcitrance. Tweaking her settings brought her back in line, but... I'll run a full diagnostic, just to be sure. An elevator. Let's see where it leads. Spaceship, all right. We better take a closer look. The clouds. They're not real. It's all an illusion. My creation, born by necessity from the womb of the Horus, is infinitely more imaginative than its ancient predecessors. Not even Shihunbe could have foreseen it. I just hope it's fast enough to outrun his shadow. My focus! What's that sound? It's a, a warning, I think. For radiation, something toxic. That should be safe enough for now, but I'd better check out the ship. Okay, tell me what you find. that look. What did you find? The Horus. It has a... a special component. One that can make almost anything you can imagine. Parts, tools, even entire machines. Londra has rigged it to build what he needs for his ship. But in order for the ship to leave... It needs a ton of power, way more than what Laundra could achieve with what he had. So he went looking for something from his old company. Exactly. Part of the data he got was for a blueprint, for a kind of boost. One that's as toxic as it gets. If this ship gets airborne, it'll spread a poison from here to every tribal land in the region. Everyone will get sick and die. There's still something I don't get. Why would Landra do all of this just to get off this world? Oh, this again. Sake. You're still not telling me everything. My people are the ones that are caught up in all this. My sister, I deserve to know. You're right. I will tell you, it just won't be. Guess our time's up. Rhyme filth! Huh. 
Oh, this must be our friend Zeth. Spread out. Reinforcements will follow. Time to put you down! Never seen a cannon like that before. I guess Lundra gave him a new toy. How do we even get out of here? Seth got this whole place unlocked down. But maybe there's a way to shut it off. You feel that? Lifted. Now to get to Zeth. Fear is understandable! Yeah, there's something off about them. But for now, we focus on Zeth. Enjoy crushing you both! Nice to meet you too. Run! the rest of our people answer her question he takes the devoted to his park on the southern peninsula but you'll never reach it the tower there is positioned to ward off any approach and my sister is there she was in the final group I'm not supposed to bring any more over, but Walter promised the Ascension to everyone who proves themselves. I don't understand. Londra's been using you to get what he wants. Let's face it, you're an easy mark. Too blinded by your own ego to see the truth. Well, you just slipped his world upside down. Just give me a straight answer. Why does Landra want to leave? Something is coming to Earth. It destroyed the world that Landra fled, and it wants to do the same thing here. Destroy the world? What could possibly do that? It's called Nemesis. It's like a machine, sort of. But it's more powerful than anything you or I have ever faced. That's why Landra's building the ship. He's doing everything in his power to leave before it gets here. And I guess he wants to take some coin with him, too. Look, I know this is a lot to take in, but there's still hope. If you say so. Seika. There's a beach on the southeast coast of the island where we took down the first tower. That's probably the closest we'll get to Landra's park. And I should probably report back to the Admiral. Tell him... something about what we found here. Okay. I'll meet you at the beach then. That was bad. That was, that was really bad. Seika, she seemed so... lost. Why do I feel like that too? 
How do I fix this? For now, I'd better take a look at that Zenith weapon. I think I can turn this into something I can use. There. I should test it out when I get back outside. Better check on the rest of the Quinn on my way out, too. to irradiate thousands so long as he survives. Sick and I have to find a way to stop him once I make things right with her. Walter has abandoned us! I guess Brennick spread the word to the rest of the people here. That Londra doesn't care about them. They must be pretty confused. You heard what Brennick said. Everything was a lie. Hmm. Was it too we good to be here, true? Where do we go? Brennick told us you and Sega killed Zeth. <laughs> Traitors! What, please? has abandoned us. You. Brennick told us you're the cause of all this. Everyone, please, remain calm. Seika stormed out of here not long ago. What exactly did you two do in there? Seems like the Quen have some thinking to do. I hope they figure it out and head back to Fleet's End. But I gotta meet up with Seika, talk things out with her, make sure we're okay. 